Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. Today I'm going to give you an update on how the decluttering is going. I've been following the KonMari method of tidying up and um, I've already done our clothes and now I'm working on our books and actually I just finished our books so that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, we have a lot of books because I really love books and I would estimate that we have about 3,500 books in our um, little personal library downstairs and so I was not sure how it was gonna go trying to get rid of some of those but it actually went really smoothly and when I'm done with this little visit right here I'm gonna show you um, some footage that I took while I was doing the process so you can kind of see what it looked like but um, what I ended up doing was well let me start here a lot of this most of this has to do with a different mindset and I talked last time about the difference between hoarding and harvesting and um, that's different when it comes to consumable items like clothes or food or something like that then something like a book isn't necessarily consumable it, it's kind of an indefinite shelf life item that you can use over and over again and it doesn't lose its value so I had to kind of approach this a little differently and um, I think one of the things that I'm noticing as I do this whole process is that it's helping me be more clear in my mind more clear about what what we're doing what I want to do and going through this process with the books I decided that the question that I was going to ask myself was would I buy this book today because there's a lot of things that used to be of interest to me or things that I needed in the past but I've kind of got it down now and I don't need that information anymore a lot of the things were that I had so many books on a similar topic that um, how would I I don't know how how would I decide which ones to keep which ones to get rid of so um, I made the question be would I buy this book today because I felt like that was going to most accurately reflect who we are at this point in time and there's innumerable books out there we could shop all day long for the rest of our lives and never buy up all the books that exist in the world so I know that if in the future I need a book on a certain topic it will be not difficult at all to find a new one that I can buy and add to the library so I just tried to think as I went through this process I literally was judging books by the cover it took I was a little slower excuse me I feel like I got an eyelash Anyways, I was a little slower at the beginning of the process because I was kind of looking at the book cover and then I would kind of thumb through it a little bit, but it didn't take me very long to be like, no, I'm judging this book by the cover, especially if it's something I was already pretty familiar with. Um, I just look at it and I would throw it in the pile or I would put it back on the shelf and I ended up, it took me probably about four four hours to do the main bookcases and then I had some books that um, I keep up on these little shelves I'll just take a video and put it right here so you know what I'm talking about but I keep it on these little um, book rail shelf things that I got from Ikea when I buy new books that I don't want to put in the regular bookcases because I'll forget about it because I am so out of sight out of mind once I put it away it like doesn't exist anymore and I'll forget that I wanted to read it so I try to keep them separate from the other books so that I can see them and remind me to read them so I went through those books and then I always have books on my nightstand in the bathroom um, I had a little stack on my desk or by my desk my reading bin on my desk had a few books so I went through all those two and that didn't take very long at all and then I had a whole bunch of magazines in the bathroom <laughs> so I just I I don't think I even looked through them I just threw the whole pile in the garbage um, but it felt very freeing and it took me about five hours total probably um, and I got rid of almost 600 books so that means I still have close to 3,000 down there so my shelves are still completely full almost but it looks a lot nicer and everything fit a lot nicer and I was very happy about that 
then we let um, some of our homeschool friends come look through all the books before we haul them off so that if there's anything that somebody wanted um, then they could have them but if that wouldn't have been convenient to do they were already coming anyways so um, it was not a big deal just to leave them for a couple days to, to let that happen but otherwise I would have just hauled them off without um, worrying about that because I know from experience that when you start like postponing when you're gonna get rid of something or saving it for somebody else to look at it just kind of the whole process stops and it derails everything so I didn't want to let them sit for very long at all here's um, a little view of what everything looked like while I was going through the process and I'm talking throughout that video too so you get a little repeat of some of the stuff I've just said here um, then after this we will be working on the third thing which is decluttering papers so I am looking forward to getting rid of a lot of paper I don't know today I'm gonna work on decluttering our books and we have got a lot of books in here um, I estimate about 3,500 books and I've decided that um, my method for deciding what to keep is I'm gonna just put everything my first thought is I'm getting rid of all of the books every book unless it's something I would buy again today so if it's something that I would pick up off of a shelf in a store and say yes I want to buy this book is going back on the shelf everything else is gonna go in the box I had several of these from decluttering clothes in the attic so I'm gonna use these now to put the box or the books in to take them for donating. They tend to get very messy in here because the kids aren't very um, cooperative about putting them back the way they're supposed to be. So I'm hoping to get a better handle on all of this. You can see that I have went through about two bookcases worth of books where I started organizing and labeling them, but um, I'm far from finishing that project. That there, that's a lint collection that Justice is keeping for my mother-in-law. She wanted them to make some fire starters, so he's been putting it over there on the shelf. The kids also tend to spend a lot of time in this room and they just like to sit their snacks up on the edges of the shelves and they just get left there. So not exactly something that I'm liking about this room. We're hoping to um, do this room sooner rather than later as far as remodeling stuff goes. So it would be nice to get through the books because I know we won't have room for as many once we put in the new bathroom and things down here. So I'm hoping just to get rid of a lot of them most of them all of them let's say that we're gonna get rid of all of them and just keep the ones that I would actually buy again if I were shopping today you can't see but there's more down in that corner it's very dark we got these okay, let's go look in here. oh there's an upgraded steer in here and then this shelf over here I did also have these in nice baskets here for the little kids with board books, but that situation has fallen apart too. Got these here too. <clears throat> Are you guys gonna hang out with me while I work? No, it's just Claudia. She, I'm not actually here. It's an illusion. So. <laughs> Go. Oh, are you doing? 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 Are I've got a pink head. Uh, 
Okay, well, it's been about an hour and a half, and I made it through four bookcases. That shelf right down at the bottom is empty now. Got a little bit of space there. There's no longer any books along the top except for the set of Hardy Boys books there. And it seems like the bookshelves are still very full, but I will show you um, what is in my get rid of pile. I'm not sure if you can see. This stack here is about thigh high on me. I don't really know how all those books were on the shelf in the first place. There you go, there's Judah. <laughs> so that's a lot of books that we've taken off the shelf and they're still full so that's I'm not sure what to make of that. Um, this stack is books that I want to keep but are damaged and so I set them aside so that I could put new ones in my Amazon cart. And then I thought it was somewhat ironic that the last book I pulled off of the last shelf just now was The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I could not find this the other day when I was talking to you guys about it. So I'm about halfway done now. And I think I'm going to stop for right now and do some other stuff. So I'm about halfway done. I still have this whole side to go. And... Um, this shelf over here to go. Okay, so this is the pile of books that we're gonna get rid of. Oh my. I worked for about probably two and a half to three hours. The shelves are still pretty much full. Uh -oh, I bet it's gonna blow up right away. The tops are all empty now though, except for that set over there. Oh, no. Yeah, Party Boys books are still up there. I'm not really sure how we could fit that much on the shelves. There's still a few places upstairs that I'm going to need to go sort through, but there's not very much there. So these guys are helping stack up the books so that we can let our friends who come on Monday for our homeschool group look and see if they want any before we get rid of them and I've given them permission that if they see something that they really like to put it back on the bookshelf and there have been a couple things that we put back I'm sure when I get to the job later I'm not gonna do it right now but later of actually organizing and labeling them all like these ones are labeled that I will probably find more that I want to get rid of but um, we are making good progress right now yeah Follow you, Rainbow. 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 Rainbow